Okay, this time I've put more than two laps in the car, so let's do this again. We are in Fred's GT86, the Rocket Bunny edition at Bannock Bray. I have been mostly driving MX5s this evening, doing some test stuff for uh, XTC. The car is a few days out. I can't show you a video because this is not yet shiny enough. But boy, does it feel good, very good. It's got the feels in the right places and these are very similar. Suspension's a lot stiffer. It's got about 100 brake horsepower more, but it's got that, it's got the same kind of feel to it. Although these are a lot more twitchy and a lot more likely to catch you out than the MX-5s. Whoop. Now I'm going to sneeze. No. Yes. <coughs> oh gosh. I'm leaving that in. Stream sneezing. Wow. See what I've got to put up with. That's not good in VR. My eyes are watered up and steamy lenses. It is now a foggy day, Brian at Bray. <laughs> I'm sure it will clear shortly. Wow. Uh, this one is a little bit problematic. So yeah, the MX-5 will be with you in a few days. From XTC and you're gonna love it. It's one of it's one of those that is becoming uh, renowned for putting out now. Uh, but in the meantime, you get to look at uh, one of Fred's masterpieces that's kind of got lost in the deluge of uh, great mods that came out at the same time. Which is a shame. These are amazing track cars. They really are a little bit too extreme for this course, but hey. I know certain Welshmen who likes racing C-Class around here for a giggle and doesn't crash. He's not right in the head, I tell you. Vic, I'm talking about you, mate. Anyway. Back on it. Woo, keep watch the back end. So AMS 2. 1.6 has got the next dev vlog up. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Lots of uh, more culturally information. <laughs> it's, all looking, it's all looking good, it's all sounding good. No reason to believe it will be anything but good. Although I have been uh, doing a little bit of the uh, the old broadcasty stuff for race department, um, which is interesting at the moment. They are mentioned in the vlog, um, and yeah, it's. Uh, I, I, I am waiting to see what's addressed by 1.6 about that kind of aspect in the multiplayer, because it was, <laughs> it was an IT nightmare with all sorts of plugins and back programs doing all sorts of things that should be in the game really but hey ho where there's a will there's a way big shout out to Rocky TM for uh, letting me trial his uh, <laughs> his rather wonderful live tracker which uh, made my uh, made my experience a whole lot better after struggling with uh, some of the uh, the others that are out there it's just felt a little bit over complicated to me but i'm not an over complicated guy so that's not hard and through we go up the inside some of that past the skinny bit just got to watch the back end here as you drop down get a little bit of lift off oversteer so just as we shift the weight on the front and then the back's easily locked as a drop of gear going down and turning. I 
put a surprise at the end of the race. You can probably guess what it is. Uh, it was a stupid idea. I'm regretting it already, but never mind. More on that on lap five. Oh, okay. Control it, Owen. Got some uh, really vicious snap back when these uh, go past the slip angle and you're trying to get it back and you lose a lot of time as you can see uh, on, a, on, on a, a normal kind of track like Brands or something like that uh, these are fantastic uh, like I said they are a bit of a handful on here but hey as a mod um, I'm pretty sure if you put somebody in this and didn't tell them it was was a mod they wouldn't know they just think it's a standard car Fred's uh, Fred's mods are just uh, next level really they are immaculate I will leave a link in the description to all the mods that are available Fred's is in there you'll find this and many others if you want to get into the mod scene it's uh, very easy nowadays you just uh, Grab a copy of uh, Content Manager and you just drag and drop the uh, the folders from various sources straight into Content Manager and that puts them in the game for you. All you've got to do is hit a button. That's it. No going into folders, no going into files, none of that. It is so simple. You can turn them on and off, all in Content Manager. It's, uh, it's uncomplicated and uncluttered, like me, as I said before. Back end, jaw stepping out over the bumps, running the AI at 110 a, which is my normal kind of level for AI, and they're giving me a run for the money. So I'm just uh, that is uh, one of my favourite places to uh, overtake cars. If you get if you get the right gap, you can just blast through the car snapping back on me again. Nowhere to go. I think Wolf did some of these uh, libraries. They look like Wolf's work. It's just turning into a video of uh, shout outs, isn't it, really? Never found a car that was um, you could race this against, but then again, there's been a lot of cars come out since I was racing this, so I'm sure there is something out there. If you found anything, just put a, just let us know in the uh, comments below. I mean, the greatest single car series, but uh, it'd be nice to put them up against something that's competitive. Bit of multi-class racing. Okay, we've got a bit of a run here. Can I do anything up the inside? Whoa! Getting the back end, just getting all sorts of uh, shapes as we drop off the bridge. We've made another place up. This is good. Taking it easy here. Nothing to. Uh, Shouldn't have took it easy, he's coming back at me. Cover that inside, Owen. A little bit too bumpy for this car over this bit to be um, looking at overtakes. He's had me. Okay, let's do this. Just give it a gap, give it a gap and go. Just need the right gap so you can power past them. Again, we're back with this gaggle. Oh, running way wide there. Don't come up the inside. He has, he's just dive for the inside. 
and shut the door and shut the door and shut the door I'll go over here then you okay let's see if we can get a run onto the yeah uh, onto woo, onto the straight and make some uh, time up here fast he's looking up the inside I don't care going wide got a little bit more speed need a toe not getting a toe he's getting a toe he's moved in front of me oh, didn't work at least we broke the uh, toe from the guy behind oh, okay that was my fault blinded too close to the back of him I was looking in my mirror where the other guy was and talking to you lot they go raise excuses it's your fault <laughs> okay let's get a bit aggressive here because i know what's coming after this lap box myself in not good whoa back end stepped out Pushing too hard, he's still at the side of me. Just gonna nip across them, but couldn't. We are being overly aggressive. Yeah, he's not gonna do anything there, not gonna get a lot of grip on the on the gravel there, are we? Ah, one at the side all over the back of me okay I can move over here we go patented Evans move <laughs> I, lo I normally get uh, track warnings for that when I get it wrong because it is a very very fine line but these things are uh, that precise you can uh, you can get on it through there we've absolutely annihilated them out annihilated them out of there but I know what's coming so fear not it's about to get interesting Oh no, it's not. It's not come on for some reason. Okay, last lap. Huh, I did have rain planned, but um, obviously I've mucked up. <laughs> uh, so that's it. A win. Thanks for watching. Let's go get these cars to the race. Adios.